Welcome to another Guardian Asset Management training session. Today we're going to learn how to review our work orders from our work list tab. So let's log in. From your dashboard at the top of the screen you'll see that there are four tabs. We're going to choose our work list. And on this tab you'll be able to pull an Excel or a report showing all of your work orders. Now you can choose it in any of the work order types. If you're choosing maintenance, go to preservation and you'll see all the different statuses you can pull a report from. So in our case, we are actually going to pull a report of all of our open and closed work orders. Your open work orders are going to be everything that's been ordered, accepted, rejected, or any completed inspections. Your closed work orders are work orders that have been completed, except for the inspections, work orders that have been approved or canceled. You can also come over here to address and filter by the state, county, or city, or you have advanced options. This is more for if you're pulling an Excel file. Um, each tab marked will show each column in the Excel. So if you click on anything on this line right here, if you see, we can filter it. So we're going to click status date twice, bringing up the most recent work orders. So from this screen, you can choose the work order that you wish. You can find out the date the work order was approved, how much the work order was, and also review your photos. So by clicking on the work order, you'll see here that our work order is for $12. Our status history approved on 11-17. Now remember, if you are completing a work order at the end of the month, and let's just say the last business day of the month was on a Friday, however, you closed out the work order that Saturday, there's a good chance that the work order may not be approved until the Monday. If that happens, that work order will now be on the following month's check. So from your attachments here, we can download, we can also review. Now this is important if you're using the Aspen Mobile app. The Aspen Mobile app does not save your photos. So if you receive a call back from a property and you're pretty sure that you've completed it, you can go to the previous work order go to attachments and review your photos. If the photo is there, you can choose an individual photo and wish you want, download it, and then upload it to the callback work order. You can also download all of your photos. It's easier doing it from the list details, clicking all, and then download. Now if you have more than 100 photos, you're going to have to go back and download the next hundred. It'll only download the first hundred on the page. 